Central Michigan University students had heard enough. That's why in late July, over 600 of them signed a petition asking CMU to not have in-person classes. Now, two weeks into the semester and over 100 cases later, the not fired up for fall movement can only say... Where it's like the worst... The worst I told you so ever. Like, there's no satisfaction in that this is happening because this is only the beginning. This is only two weeks in, and I think we can't forget that everyone that's going to be exposed aren't going to be young and in their 20s. Although they still want CMU to suspend in-person classes, they're focusing on another target now, tuition. The deadline for on-campus students to get a full refund on their tuition was yesterday. This has students worried that if CMU goes online, they'll be paying the same amount for what they feel is a lesser quality education. CMU's administration, since I've been here uh, with President Ross and now President Davies, has always been negligent and has always had a um, emphasis on putting profit and their own interests uh, in over the students, over the faculty, over our community. In a statement to TV5, CMU said the majority of our classes are either fully online or high flex. The health and safety of our students, faculty, and staff remain our top priority. But the Not Fired Up movement is only gaining strength. They've teamed up with the New America Project and Michigan Student Power and plan on escalating their pressure on the university. In Mount Pleasant, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5.